G'day Tankers, Sturm Jager here with another replay, this time in the Cromwell Tier 6 British Medium Tank on the uh, cliff map. Um, Cromwell is a very decent uh, medium tank, uh, very capable on its own, and also a very popular stronghold choice, just due to the overall power it has. Um, key features here are the gun, although it has very bad... Um, well, not bad, just very average uh, gun handling. Um, has very weak armor, but good gun depression. Is quite fast. Um, accelerates quite well as well, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, and there's, uh, it's got, I believe it's got 10 degrees of gun depression. Um, zero at the back, just due to that little exhaust there, as you can see at the side of you. And yeah, um, on the move accuracy is not great. This is uh, more sort of uh, peaking tank, a pinky, a peaky, peaking medium, as you'll see above. <coughs> Pardon me. Just getting over a cold. Um, it's currently quite cold in Australia. So we're in the middle of winter and we're having a cold snap. It's like 18 degrees, which is not cold, but it's, it's cold enough for us. Ah, as we see, our first foe it is a T-37, and he's one of the best tankers on the enemy team. Um, right now we're going to waste our time here, because really... Um, we haven't got any good shots in him. We should have gone further up the hill. Because we probably already got some side shots on him. And also got some damage on him. Um, we'll get a shot here, but it's just... The gun's not quite um, accurate enough. It's an accurate gun, but it's just, it's just the aiming time. It takes a while to, for the for the gun bloom to come down. Now, this is where, this is where I like to play on this map in the medium or light. Just popping rounds into the back of heavies. We hit you know, two shots into that KV-85 there before he gets behind some rocks and we're able to shoot him. Cheeto hits us for 116 damage. Um, he's hidden at the moment, but we'll see him shortly. Um, yeah, this, is, this is a really good spot because um, you're actually protected in this. Where, where you can see to my um, to my left, you can see the uh, the hill there is protecting me from incoming enemy fire. And I can shoot down at these heavies, um, and I can also scoot back down to protect myself from the heavies in the middle. So yeah, as I said, decent gun depression. I'm, I'm, you'll see in a second when I get this Cheeto. Just got to get at the right angle. So there we go. Pop shot into him. Cheeto's got very weak armor, so it doesn't really matter where we hit them. It's not going to hit their gun. Terrain being a bit trolley there. It's just due to my low end PC. The terrain isn't looking so. Great. T1 Heavy does some te delivers a uh, decent hit to us. Well, there's Chaffee here. He's very annoying, um, especially throughout the battle, just because we can't hit him because he's staying. He's being quite clever. He he's doing what he should do. He should spot me for his artillery, although his artillery just aren't paying attention over here, which they really should. At least one of them should have anyway. Um, T1 Heavy, gonna try and get some shots on him. A lot of tier 5 tanks at the moment here, a lot of heavy tanks. You've got a KV-1 with the um, derp gun there, you've got a KV-1S, I don't know what he had because I didn't really see him throughout the battle. There's a Cheeto we did some damage to earlier, we're not going to see him for the rest of the battle either. That KV-1S is going to get taken out in a second. Pop around to the tier 1 heavy. You can sort of snapshot with this gun, but it's just, as you can see there, the, the accuracy is not amazing. So there you go, there's the uh, T1 Heavy and KV-1S gone, and then the other T1 Heavy's gone. Chaffee being very annoying, I mean, he's not coming over. I mean, seriously, come over and let me shoot you. Put a nice side shot into the KV-1S. I think we even tracked him, I'm not certain. Looks like we did. Oh, uh, maybe not, I'm not sure. Put another nice hit into him. We were very being very ballsy there, just, um, he's got the one two two. Derp gun. If he had actually laid a hit into us, we would have died. Just due to the sure power that that thing has. So Chaffee, um, again, being very annoying. I don't like Chaffees. I don't like playing them. I don't like playing against them. Cause people always seem to be able to play them better than me. <laughs> Love the T37 though, and the Bulldog, which I've got some replays coming up for you uh, shortly about that one. Um, Panther is quite a decent tank. I've been playing it on the Asian server. Um, currently having a break from the Asian server just due to the derpy teams. Um, also not... 
a massive fan of the... I've been playing the Elf Clarins Panzer, and I'm not a massive fan of it. I mean, it's it's a good tank. It's it's it, I like driving it. It's just that I don't like the matchups I'm getting into with it. So it's just it's just kind of I don't know. I'll be really sad to see it going away because I reckon it would be it actually make a great sort of um, not light light tank, such as um, the oh what's that tier five? But oh the um, the Crusader, which is another tank I really like in this line. Um, I don't mind the comet. Comet's not too bad. It's, 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 it depends on the player. I think, I think it's really player dependent on whether you like it or not. It's kind of similar to this, although it's a lot slower. Well, by ten kilometers an hour, but still, it's slower. So you can't really do the main medium thing where you zip around, and do things. Well, that's more of a light thing. But anyway, so we've done done quite well there. We're one shot for pretty much anything left on the enemy team, but we've pretty much won this. We're going to mop these up. Going to encounter a Tiger P in a second, and we're going to put some shots into him. See the slowness of the um, gun aiming in there. Took a couple of seconds. Any more shots into him. The gun's quite decent as well. It does 150 per shot, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, 135. So that's a bit of a high roll for 150. So yeah, but still decent, decent gun, and it's uh, very good. So he didn't get any kills. Just tracked that artillery when that challenger took him out. I oh, was a Jackson, sorry, not the challenger. Um, challenger's also based on the Cromwell. It's just got a different turret. Um, pretty much plays the same from what I understand, but it's also a better gun. Anyway, that was the game, and uh, we did quite well there. Um, very enjoyable, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's go to the post-game stats. And as you can see, that was a victory, and in this game we earned our first mark of excellence. The Mastery Badge, Fire for Effects Ribbon, Spotter Ribbon, Hand of God, and Bruiser. And we also got Confederate, which was nice. Um, we earned three... Uh, sorry... 33,578 credits and 6,175 XP. This was a times 5 event, however, so it's not like we did an amazing job. It's just that we had a times 5 event. But still, very good game. Also, we came top... No, sorry, we came top on XP with 1,235 base XP. And... The reason for this is, and a shout out to our um, T29, T37, who did very well. Um, T37 is a very decent tank as well, very proper stronghold tank as well. And this is the reason is, we've got 2,536 spotting damage, which uh, is very good indeed. Um, yeah. There's uh, not much else, not much better you can do um, for your team than give them that much spotting damage. Well, you can give them more, but that's a decent amount of spotting damage, which uh, really would have helped the team out. So, um, yes, uh, that's that's the this, this that's my mastery game, the Cromwell, and also gaining our first ma uh, mark of excellence. Um, I'm very happy with that. I'm, I've got some tanks I'm, I've kept, and Cromwell's one of them. I uh, will most likely be trying to go for my third, second and third mark of excellence at some point. Um, my pattern's almost there. I'm at 83%. So uh, check, wait, we'll wait, be waiting for that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. And I hope you enjoyed the replay as much as I uh, did enjoy, enjoy uh, playing it and also uh, editing it. So I hope you guys have some fun. And I'll see you next time.